Hello, my name is Joey Hadley with Hadley's Peekaboo Boxing. I have been training fighters for over 50 years, and today I would like to pass down some wisdom to you about boxing that I learned personally from Customato during the time that he was my trainer as a professional boxer when I lived with him in Casco, New York. Let's get started. Well, a left jab is going to be the left hand coming all the way out, turn it over right when it gets to its uh, target, then bring it back to your face. The left jab is the most important punch in boxing. The left jab sits up all other combinations. Everything starts with a jab. Now, as you get more experience, you can go out every now and leave with a right hand left hook or even a left hook right hand, but that's not what's normal in boxing. You always, or most of the time, you're always going to lead with your left jab. Set them up for the combinations coming behind it. From your face, it comes out and turn it over. It kind of snap, snap. That gives, just puts a little kick on the end of it. Uh, but then bring it back to your face, right under your eye, on your face, uh, for your protection. Well, it's got to be quick. It's got to be snappy. Um, and you can... Uh, perfect hurting people with the jab, getting all your weight behind the jab. You can knock people down with the jab. But normally the jab is not to hurt people, it's just to sit up the combinations that normally follow it. Right hand, left hook, double jab, right hand, hook, 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 or go to the body. But normally everything comes off the jab. You've got to be careful when you jab to the body because you, want, you don't want to be up and have your chin open for a straight right hand. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to turn uh, when you come down take that chant, mm -hmm. uh, but the majority of the punches will be jabs to the head. Just get in front of a mirror, get in your stance, practice throwing it all the way out, make sure your right hand is on your face and your shoulder comes up and protects your chin. And then bring it back, snap, back, snap, back, and you want to get where you can boom, boom, boom. You can throw three, four, five jabs, but always keep that chin covered. If you come back like this, you're setting yourself up to be hit with the right hand. So always stay protected. There's a nerve that comes down alongside of the chin. And when you get hit here, you get knocked out. Now some people, the nerve is larger uh, than in other people. Uh, some people, they have what you call glass jaws. You hit on the chin once and they're knocked out. Uh, other people like Rocky Marciano, you could hit them in the jaw with a baseball bat and they're not gonna go down. But you never know, but the safest thing to do is always protect that chin when you throw your jab. Right hand's over here on this side, you got your shoulder up on this side, your chin is protected. It makes no difference what kind of style that you have, you always set up your combinations with the left jab first. Um, and the peekaboo style is no different. The left hand is the most important hand uh, in boxing. You're going to use more jabs during a fight than any other punch. So it's really got to be in shape because of all the jabbing that you're going to do. But it basically, uh, you can't hurt a man with a jab, you can cut him with a jab, but the jab sets up all combinations coming behind it. The jab is the most important punch in boxing. Over 80% of the punches thrown in a fight will be the left jab. Well, Cus liked my jab because it was a real hard, snappy jab when I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to hold the heavy bag for me. And I would tell him to put his head behind the heavy bag where he couldn't see what hand I was throwing, and I would throw a punch, uh, and I'd say, what was that, my left or my right? And he would always say, right, and I'd say, no, that was my jab. Uh, I have knocked people down with my jab before, and I know other people have too. Uh, it's just, it's in the snap, it's getting all your weight and everything behind the jab, it lands on your opponent, and everything comes together at the same time. You can have great power with the left jab. But mostly the jab is to keep your opponent off balance and uh, setting you up for the combinations that you're gonna throw. If you wanna hit somebody hard with a jab and hurt them, you can't be moving. You've gotta have your feet on the floor. Mm -hmm. But then you've got jabbers like Ali, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, who would move and jab all around. 
and confuse the, their opponents with different angles. That's also something that can be done. Have somebody hold a heavy bag for you. You don't want the thing moving all around when you're trying to work on a specific punch. Have somebody hold it. Um, just get your hands on your face. You're going to turn your hand all the way over and you kind of snap your hip into it when you throw it. Snap your shoulder into it. And you can get real power out of that. You can boom, boom, just to kind of keep them off balance. But if you, you set yourself, you can throw the thing and you can bust their nose, bust their lip, or even knock them down. All right, today we're going to talk about the left jab. And when you throw the left jab, you want to make sure both hands are turned like this on your face. This keeps your elbows in, which protects your body. When you throw the left jab, you want it to come all the way out and turn your hand over. You want this part of the shoulder protecting this side of your chin. Every time you throw a jab, that shoulder comes up and protects you. When you throw the right hand, the shoulder comes up and protects you this way. When you throw the left hook, the shoulder protects the chin this way. The chin is always protected. This is where it'll get you knocked out if you've got it up. So you sit down, you want to get pop that jab, get the end, get out real quick. Think about the left jab, it sets up all the combinations that are coming behind it. Whether you want to throw a left right, left right hook, left right hook, right hand, everything is set up by the left jab, so you need to have a good left jab. <laughs> and after you punch your combination, we're going to be slipping and moving our head. These are peekaboo boxing gloves that I had specially made. They're 18 ounce, all leather, and they will be available to you uh, shortly. We're gonna set up a link either on the website or the Facebook page, so please stay tuned. They're on their way.